This 18-year-old French basketball player is single-handedly challenging the NBA more than it has ever been before. This 7'5 forward, Victor Wenbanyama, has the size and defensive ability of a star, but can shoot the ball like Steph Curry. The unanimous top selection in this upcoming draft, teams are taking advantage of a broken system that needs to be addressed. As an active fan and analyst myself, seeing the system destroy the league is heartbreaking. In this speech, I will address the issue of the current draft lottery system and how tanking is destroying the modern culture of the NBA. The draft lottery was created in 1985 and has seen many different changes throughout the years. Most recently, we could see the changing of the chance per pick based on your record. It used to be the worst record had a 25% chance so on and so forth, but now the top three worst records each have an equal percentage. Teams can also trade their picks for more assets, meaning that they can have multiple draft picks in one year. Some teams, much like the current day Oklahoma City Thunder, are doing that by stockpiling all of their picks. What this draft lottery system does by rewarding the worst team, the best odds, is considering an idea called tanking. Now what is tanking? Tanking is the idea where teams will purposely try and lose games so they can get a worse record and in turn a higher draft pick. This can create monopoly of picks and can also ruin the sport of basketball professionally. But why is tanking such a big problem in today's society? Well, tanking isn't guaranteed success because all of these numbers are based off of a chance. If we look at a team like the 76ers who are the most recent team that has gone through a full rebuild through tanking. Their process, as it is called, has not worked out well as they are still yet to win a ring with this current team of players. Tanking also becomes a problem because it's unfair to fans as it lowers the fan interest in teams and games when star players don't play or when your team is actively trying to lose. This also creates for a lack of parity in the NBA and can make every year seem like we're watching the same teams over and over and over again in the NBA championship. Tanking is also an issue because it lowers the potential of current players because they are playing to lose. Their main goal is to lose and not to develop the full potential of their skill set. It can also fix the standings and... By this, I mean by purposely losing, you're giving teams undeserved wins. But why is it currently a problem? Victor Wenbanyama is not the first prospect that teams are dying to get a hold of. Victor Wenbanyama is the best prospect since LeBron James, as seen on many accounts, many ESPN analyst accounts, saying that he is the best prospect since LeBron James. It's also a problem currently because a solid 33% of the picks in the first round belong to three teams in the Knicks, Jazz, and Pacers. These, of course, can be protected, but it has the potential of being 10 picks for three teams. And we're coming straight out of an offseason where NBA teams are trading away their star players like Donovan Mitchell in Utah, as well as Rudy Gobert from Utah as well. Teams are trying to purposely lose to have a future with this 18-year-old French phenom. But how can we solve this? Well, my solution is pretty simple. You make a playoff bracket for the worst teams, so they fight for the top pick. Now, much of how the 16 teams would make the playoffs, the remaining 14 teams will go into a single elimination, single game tournament with the winner of the tournament getting the top pick of the draft. This way, you're not striving for last place because you still want to win the tournament for the best pick. Order from there goes based on round and based on regular season record if more multiple teams get out in the same round. This is good for the league because it increases game revenue as well as TV exposure for these non-playoff teams And it allows the NBA to make more money off of brand deals and can keep their season going just a little bit longer. And 
it'll decrease the will of trying to lose. It instills competition in every team. To review, the current draft lottery system in the NBA is a broken system that is exploited easily by teams by tanking. Tanking leads to many detriments to the league, its players, and its fans. A playoff system for the top pick could solve this problem, one that was reawakened by an 18-year-old French phenomenon. Now, Victor Wanbanyama isn't the first player, and he won't be the last to make us rethink this. But these new systems in place can help change this league for the better.